gunfight at the O.K. Corral was the biggest battle in Tombstone, Arizona, until the 2020 election. A reenactment is living history. Republicans on gun control. We don't drop them. But history is happening now. Four more years! Four more years! This year's Hell Dorado Festival down near the Mexican border featured singing, dancing and roaring around for America. In 70 years, Arizona has only once voted for a Democratic president. Two things you don't want to be here today as a Biden supporter and an Antifa supporter. In Tombstone, there's a cult-like adoration of Donald Trump and a view of Joe Biden and the Democrats fed by conspiracy theories. They want to take everything away from us. They want to put us all in concentration camps. What, Joe Biden wants to put you in a concentration yes, camp? Yes, they all do. The, the, the other side does. That's what they want to do, just like in China, where they've got those two, two million people in China in concentration camps. That's what China wants to do to us. This is a patriotic show of the old Wild West, and the Trump supporters I've been meeting here just love it. But what is Arizona today? It's growing affluent suburbs, it's high-tech industry, it's an increasing number of Latinos who are likely to vote Democrat. No. Not the people here, though. No, 90% no. no. Republican. From Tombstone to Tucson, 80 miles and a world away, the Republicans have lost support in the suburbs of Arizona cities, partly because the party under Trump is regarded as extreme. One former Republican attorney general has turned Democrat. I switched because we had Trump, who I view as an abomination, and, uh, and yet he was supported by almost all of the elected Republicans. I think what people want is uh, someone who can work with people from both sides, who can understand that we can have disagreements, we can disagree agreeably. Welcome back to Arizona, President Trump. Let's give it up for the president. Republican Senate candidate Martha McSally. Polls suggest her enthusiasm for the president, demonstrated at a rally yesterday, could lose her Arizona's crucial Senate seat. I like women. I like women, the president shouted. Tell me what democracy looks like. But polls suggest increasing numbers of Arizona women don't like him. I want somebody who's competent, and Joe Biden, with his experience, is more than competent. This weekend, a group of Tucson Democrats cycled to post their mail-in ballots. Half a million Arizonans have already voted. Amongst them, Mayor Regina Romero, the first woman and first Latina elected to that office. But I hear that the early vote numbers are good. Yes. She and Julian Castro, an Obama-era official, have been out whipping up enthusiasm. Is Arizona going to go for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? Yes! yes. More Latinos are expected to vote this time, partly because of President Trump's policy of separating immigrant families. We are not going to forget children in cages just 45 minutes away from us uh, on the border. Uh, we are not going to forget all of the racist comments and anti-Latino laws that President Trump has pushed. People have had enough. Um, the Latino community and I think general community, everybody has had enough of a guy who's in over his head and is so focused on himself and his own political interests instead of being focused on serving the American people. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Tombstone... What would you do if the Democrats win? It's not going to happen. Well, it's not going to happen. What it's I do, happen. I'll vote the next it's four not, years. It's not happen, I won't do what they do. I won't go riot and loot and protest and call names and cry and have, you know, have a little puppy room for the university students. No, I accept the loss, call him my president, and go on. The election is part battle, part theater. And if Arizona turns Democrat, it'll make history too.